Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Similar to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace Shuichi's Path. So, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> um, darn. This could have been really bad. It's okay. They message you 10 minutes before your match is set to start, right? Not to mention the grace period of 5 minutes. There's no way you'd be late. The record is literally only a few steps away, after all. Still, it's a good thing June reminded me to check my phone. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, of course. It's not like I it's not like I heard it going off in your bag while the rest of you were catching watching much of you were watching Mizuguchi san and case cake san argue. You what? Nothing. Next time next time say something sooner. I'll shoot Sayani a message to let her know you got called and that we're heading to your court. Is that really necessary? The court is right there. The three of us quickly make our way to the court number four, which, just as June said, is the second court to the left after the one Sai's match took place in. It's not even a one-minute walk to it, if I'm being honest. Okay, they're wiping the court down still. That's good. Is your opponent here already? Who is your opponent, anyway? I don't know. His name doesn't ring a bell, and he's unranked, so... Well, this is the first round. All seated players will be facing non-seated players. Is that a rule or something? It's how tournament brackets work. You didn't know? I don't think any of us ever took the time to explain it to him in that much detail. So, that means this flutter in the pit of my stomach that I've been feeling all morning is because I was worried about you guys losing? Was for nothing? Aniki! D don't look at me like that! How was I supposed to know he'd be anxious about it? I'm fine. Aki places a hand on June's back, gently rubbing it while the tiger takes a few slow, deep breaths. But, in all seriousness, isn't this a little much? None of us was even remotely worried about our own matches. Do you really need to worry this much? It's a bit excessive. I walk up to one of the members of the staff, letting them know I've arrived and getting the word to wait for a few minutes as, as my match is supposed to start soon. If you guys don't mind, uh, I'll be leaving you now. Already? I'd like to take a few minutes to, to myself before the match to sit and relax. It's good for concentration. Too bad you don't get the chance all that often. Yeah... Like with yu kun during the previous competition, I wanted to take some time to myself before we got started, but he was insistent on wanting to talk the entire time. It's a good thing my opponent isn't here yet. It means whoever it is, I don't have to deal with them yet. I'll see you guys later. I'll let Sayani and Keisuke know when you get there, when they get there. Good luck, Aniki. Yeah, break a leg, Yuichi. I'm sure you'll do fine. That's a little violent, isn't it? Man, I didn't know you resented me so much. And that means good luck. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm teasing you. Relax, June. Ah. I quickly pet Aki, messing around with the fur on the top of his head for a second before finally feeling satisfied. Uh, Aniki, cut it out! Alright, I, I feel refreshed. Time to go. See ya. I'll message Uichi Sen for you and give him updates on your match. I know he's at school right now, but I'm sure he's going to be anxious about it. Could you do that? That'd be really nice of you. Aki nods. I head inside the court area, placing my bags on one of the benches and taking a seat. I'll make sure to greet anyone I pass by before, start it, before I start watching the officials and volunteers wiping down the court. It's good to do nothing in particular. If I focus on my if I focus my mind on it, it's a good way of letting it turn off. They soon finish what they're doing, giving the all clear for the match to start. In the meantime, it seems that my opponent had already arrived, as I see him getting up from the other bench at the same time that I do. A stag of medium medium build that comes up to about my chin in height. He looks athletic, but still somewhat unremarkable. His build his build reminds me a little of Kaken's, though with slightly more body mass. Once we lock eyes, he immediately looks away, fixing his gaze on the floor. That's all I need to know about his current mind state. Nervous opponent, huh? Not that I can blame him. Being an unseated player in these situations must be nerve-wracking. No one else knows about him. Probably no one else will be cheering for you. Wherever you go, it must always feel like playing on the away court. I feel a little sympathetic, but I try not to let that thought occupy my mind too much. At the end of the day, I still need to win my match, and feeling sorry for him won't make, me, won't make him feel any better when he loses. The two of us take to the court as the Empire announces the duration of a warm-up session. We quickly start our own personal world routines, with them inevitably ending on a short, low-effort rally, passing the ball back and forth so we can get the feel of our rackets and our swings. Then... It's time! Players, please come up to the net! We do as directed. When I get closer to him, I can tell that he's just a tad bulkier than I initially assumed from a distance. At least his chest sticks out more than I thought it did. I wonder if he's a power player like me. Good luck! May we have a good match. Uh, yeah, uh, same here! We quickly got our greetings out of the way. Afterwards, the Empire pulls out the coin, asking for the stag to call heads or tails. As the coin lands on the Empire's hand, it is uncovered and shows that the stag had called it right. Like any reasonable person that isn't Keisuke, the boy decides to serve first, which I, to which I nod in understanding. 
I will be the one officiating this match. So to start the round, the round one match between Yuichi Michimaya and Akira Uninaki. Will the players please go to their positions? Uninaki? That's a strange name for a stag. Wait, probably not what I was, what I should be thinking of right now. I hop on my spot a few times. Hop on the spot. Hop on my spot a few times. Once I feel ready, I clutch the racket firmly with both hands. Both hands firmly placing my feet on the ground and taking my position. I have to start from a strong foundation. Keep my core engaged and prepared. Once the umpire gives a signal, I watch the stag close his eyes for a second. Once he opens them, he tosses the ball in the air and... A few hours later. At the end of the day, Coach rounds us all up and into the bus so we can head back to the hotel. It's always a little shocking to see the end of day one. For the competition for its starts, there are 168 athletes walking around, preparing themselves, playing against each other. 168 people along with their friends and families, hoping to progress in the competition, hoping that the next match won't be their last one. And by the end of the day one, that number is cut by half. 64 matches took place today. 64 people had to go home, wherever it is that home is for them, with the knowledge that they were knocked out on the first round of the competition. It's hard not to feel a little bad for them, but... Okay, everyone. I know you're all tired and sweaty and want to be able to rest, but I need you all to be back here in the lobby in an hour. We're going to celebrate all of you advancing to the second round tomorrow. Osu! Luckily, all seven of us managed to finish strong on day one. My opponent started off stronger than I thought he would, but he quickly fell apart before the end of the first set. As a result, I managed to, get, I managed to close the game out in straight sets. Of the seven of us, four managed to win in straight sets. Since we had a whole friggin' bus to ourselves, Coach, F Coach allowed friends and family to ride with us back to the hotel. Which is really nice of him. I'm glad you all managed to get through the through the next round. I feel silly for worrying so much now. Yes, I wish someone would have told me that the first round would be this easy. We assumed you knew, but for what it's worth, we appreciate the concern. Ooh. Tomorrow we have rounds two to four. If you don't, if you want to worry, I'd start then. Quarterfinals. I'll finally be able to show that stupid dog a thing or two. You really do carry a grudge, huh? After being discounted like that, you bet I do. He might not even make it that far. The guy beat the number three player in the competition. I doubt he'll be dropping out that easily. Yeah, but... Just don't get ahead of yourself, Kaken. If you focus so much on him, you might get careless. The last thing we want is for you to be beaten before you can reach the, court, the, the quarters. I know that. You do have a history of letting your temper get the better of you. I don't do that anymore. Aki pats the hair on the back, a gesture that is far too amusing to see. Kaken really is getting comforted by a literal 12-year-old. Ah, give me a second. My phone is buzzing in my bag. Probably boyfriend. I reach inside, grabbing my phone to check who could be messaging me at this time. I'm greeted to a message from Shuichi, making me smile as soon as I see it. Call me when you get to the hotel. I suppose he doesn't know that we're already here, after all. I wonder how surprised he'd be if I called him right away. Actually, I think I'm going to head to my room and get ready to take a bath, if you guys don't mind. Huh? But June said and I have to leave soon. Can't you s- Ow! That's okay. We'll see you tomorrow, Yuichi-san. I need to go talk to the others anyway. Make sure everyone is doing okay and feeling confident for their matches tomorrow. Isn't that our coach's job? I grab my things, quickly heading upstairs to my room where I'll have a little more privacy to be on my phone. As soon as I'm inside, I make sure to lock the door behind me, not wasting a second before I call Shuichi. Damn, that was fast. Miss me that much? For his part, he doesn't waste a second before picking up, immediately cracking a joke that makes me smile so hard it almost hurts. You wish. I just happen to be free to come to the phone right now, that's all. Oh. Ouch, I see how it is. Huh. <laughs> well, either way, congratulations. What? Skipping right to congratulations? Are you just assuming I won? You won't even ask for us to make sure? What if I choked horribly and lost my match? Bet you'd feel pretty awkward then. Shut up, you dweeb. I checked the results online before texting you. I'm not a moron. I'm not so sure about that. Evil. But anyway, how was it today? I saw you won pretty handily, but I know the score doesn't always tell all. I thought the guy would have been a bigger challenge than he turned out to be. He kind of self-destructed halfway through the first set. I can imagine. What about Saya-chan and Rushihara? I saw that they won too. Actually, I saw that everyone from our school won their matches. How's the mood over there? People are confident. We got to the hotel not too long ago. Uh, Coach told us to take the hour to recover for a bit before we go celebrate it. Celebrate, huh? I wonder if he's taking you guys out for dinner. I somehow doubt it. This trip would probably be expensive enough as it is. Yeah, but your coach isn't the one paying for it. Eh, true. Here's Shuichi chuckling softly at the end of the line. They stay silent for a few seconds, just enjoying the feeling of each other's company, even if it's limited to a phone call. Speaking of a trip, I already confirmed with Dad that I'll be allowed to go over there tomorrow in the afternoon. But not the morning, huh? 
Sorry, I really did try, you know. I know, don't sweat it. The last thing I want is for things to get awkward between Shuichi and Takahiko-san because of me. And how was your day? I'm assuming you managed to finish all the overdue assignments? I did, I did. It was a little close. But I managed to get it all done before leaving, before leaving during the afternoon. Oh, but Hitoka did show up at my class during lunch break. She did? Huh. It's nice that you guys are spending more time together lately. Sure, I guess it is, but... But... It's hard to focus on homework once you won't stop yapping. Yapping, huh? I'm sure your sister would love to see you talking about her like that. I'm serious. I love her and, I love her and everything, but by God, she talks so much sometimes that I can't hear myself think. And you were able to finish your work regardless? I admire you, man. It was either that or missing out on the second day of your competition as well. I appreciate the effort and dedication, but you really need to learn how to pace yourself. My hero, I guess I'll need to thank you properly for working that hard to see, to see me when you come by tomorrow. You bet you do. I won't be satisfied until I get a real nice kiss. How greedy. You have no idea. Not like I'd be against it. I found that I quite like kissing. It's the only stuff that comes... It's only the stuff that comes after kissing that I need to take a bit slower. Um, I wish I could stay on the phone with you longer, but I really should get going. I have less than an hour to take a bath and get dressed, and we both know there's almost no way I'd be able to dry my fur in that little time. I get it. You're probably the long, the long person with thick, long fur in your group. Lone person. Go before you leave everyone else waiting. I'll see you tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. I love you. <laughs> see ya. Good night. Ha! Man, I know Shuichi said he was patient. I don't mind waiting, but even I'm starting to feel a little bad for taking this long to say it back. When I get back home, I'm going to need to take some time to think long and hard about my feelings so I can give him some kind of better answer. Responding to I love you with Sia is just too depressing. But first, I need a bath. Not that the embarrassment will fade, though, since I'm pretty sure Keiken and, ha and, Hay and Hayotokun are going to be in there as well. This is my least favorite part of traveling competitions. June 30th. Somehow I managed to drag my drowsy ass out of bed and down to the motel lobby almost first thing in the morning. Since Kaken wasn't in the room when I woke up, I expected to see him down here. Maybe even with Saya, but he's nowhere to be found. Actually, I can't see any of my schoolmates in here at all. Weird. Am I really the first one to wake up? Hmm, it is a little early. What time did I wake get up yesterday? 6 a.m. and Kaken had already Kaken had already been up for at least an hour by then. Well, it's 5.45 right now. Maybe he went somewhere else. That... That much should be fine, but even Saya-chan isn't here. Where is everybody? Excuse me, has anyone from my group gone out by any chance? Uh, yes, the hair you've been sharing a room with went out a bit under half an hour ago. He was wearing a hoodie and running shoes, so I assume he went out for a jog. Makes sense. Has anyone else come downstairs? Not so far, no. Alright, thanks again. I guess I'll wait around until everyone else gets up. Of course. Feel free to relax in the lounge for as long as you need it. I nodded at the vixen manning the front desk today pulling out my phone and making my way to the sitting area without giving it much thought. It's far too early for me to try to message someone. I don't really feel like going for a jog like Kaken did. In fact, I would have stayed in bed if I hadn't been feeling been feeling so restless. I guess even I'm not completely immune to the tense feeling you get during competitions. Maybe it's because this is my last one. Ugh, I let everyone else's constant babbling and sentimentality about it being my last time get in my head. Shuichi also tends to get up pretty early, doesn't he? Maybe I could shoot him a message, I, at least I at least I ask him what time he'll be coming by. But at the same time, I don't want to risk waking him up if he isn't awake yet. God damn it, Yuichi. Why do you have to be so indecisive? I'm able to make my I'm able to make up my goddamn my goddamn mind. I end up mindlessly swiping around on my phone, browsing the internet looking for some kind of distraction to break the tedium of waiting. At the very least, it beats being left alone with my thoughts and anxieties. Today's the second day of competition, but the level is still quite low for me, at least for my first round of the day. Kaken should be playing against against Yuka today. God, I wish them wins. And at least it promises to be more interesting than playing against a bunch of no-name players with barely any kind of record record to their names. I don't even know if I can pick one of them. I'd prefer playing against. They're both such a pain in the ass as, as opponents. If I could skip all the way to the finals, I would. Especially since I'm feeling a lot more confident about taking about taking Tanabe this time than I have been. God, in a while. Every time I've thought about playing against him the last few years, I've felt nothing more than, nothing other than anxiety and a low level of dread. To think of that, I feel excited about it after so long, I almost forgot what that was like. On an impulse, I decide to check my messages, scrolling down the list looking for the last time I talked to Tanabe. It takes a little while to find it, considering how far down our conversation was. Hard to think it's been almost three years. Looking these up is a little nostalgic. It's weird to think that I didn't know the last time we chatted and joked around as friends would really be the last time. 
Every now and again, I find myself going over these and wanting to reach out, but I always decide not to for one, one reason or another. The truth is, I'm probably scared of what would happen if I did. It's not like we haven't talked at all since then. There would be some idle chit-chat and chit-chat in our matches, but it would never amount to anything other than small talk. At this point, I'm convinced that even if we did decide to try and be friends again, we would have no idea how to talk to each other. I definitely don't feel like I'm even close to being the same person that I used to be back in middle school. Besides, even if I didn't consider that, there's the fact that the reason we've drifted apart has never been resolved. We hit that one fight years ago, and then... I really need to stop doing this. I just keep torturing myself every time I do. Not that talking to myself is any better, though I will admit that vocalizing it definitely makes it feel more real. I really do need to stop, otherwise I'll spin myself in circles again. It's been a few months since I've gone into one of those spirals. When even was the last time? February? March? I don't really remember. Unable to get the thoughts of Tanabi out of my head, I decided to lean further back into my chair, doing my absolute best to try and fuse myself to it. Or at least I'm sure that's what it looks like, well, like I'm doing from the outside. Man, I'm such a mess. Y yuichi san Oh. My ears, flick my ears quickly flicker at the direction of the familiar, deep baritone voice calling out to me, Hear me follow my rest of my head. I see Keisuke standing a few steps behind me, looking down at me with a hint of worry in his eyes. Is everything okay? You're up quite early. You do know I could say the same thing about you, right? What were you doing out, in the, out of the hotel before 6 a.m.? I was feeling restless, so I went out for a quick jog. Carefully, don't end up tiring yourself out before the competition. I somehow doubt that could happen. If anything, I feel like I have too much energy. Heh, <laughs> been there. Although, it's been a while since I've gone through that feeling of being restless and uneasy. I decided to admit the part about me having come down here this early in the morning because I'm feeling a little, a little restless. Even if I'm going through something similar, I know my own problems are, are orders of magnitude behind Kaken's right now. To me, even if I dropped out of the competition right now, I'd still be qualified for the All Japan. No matter how I look at it, I'm in a privileged position right now. In fact, my restlessness stems from a desire to play. It comes from looking forward to facing Tanabi again. I doubt it is the case for Kaken. If anything, I'm willing to bet that the thoughts going through his mind right now are less I can't wait to play and more I need to not be eliminated today. Of course, there's always the chance that I'd be way off base, but... I don't know. Knowing Kaken, I'd put my odds at around 80 to 85 percent that I'm right. How do you deal with it? Honestly, I'd say you've got a pretty good, pretty, pretty spot on already. Get yourself moving to burn off that extra nervous energy. Not much else you can do other than that. Figured, worth a shot though. With a loud sigh, Kesuke plopped, plopped himself down on the armchair across from me, resting his elbows to on his knees and cupping his face with both hands in an adorably overdramatic fashion. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!